When Katrina von Schlegel so succinctly penned the words to the hymn, Be Still My Soul, more than 260 years ago, I wonder if she had any idea the impact those words would have on people, even to this day. I'm not sure. But one thing I am sure of, she had no idea that the title to her hymn would be used on one of my paintings. We live among constant noise. It's everywhere, surrounding and enveloping us. It penetrates deep into our very souls and holds us captive. And if for a second we are released from its grasp, we quickly find ways to return to our captor because that's where we're most comfortable. We've come to love the noise more than the quiet. However, in that place of quiet and stillness, that's where the big questions about God and creation and our purpose and place in the world are more easily contemplated. That's the place I most like to be. One of the wonderful things about being an artist, particularly a painter of landscapes, is that we have a strong connection with nature, the exquisite wildness and beauty of this planet on which God has placed us. When coming to know and trust in the God of the Bible, the first line of Katrina von Schlegel's hymn begins to make perfect sense. Be still, my soul, the Lord is on thy side. When our soul confidently rests in that truth, it becomes still and at peace. For me, it's in the open country away from all the noise that I find that truth most strongly reinforced. The mood of this painting as it evolved put me in the open country and gave me a feeling of stillness and calm. The process of painting it certainly didn't give me those feelings. Usually it's just the opposite, but the mood of the painting did, and the title came naturally out of those feelings. Selecting a painting title can be quite difficult at times, particularly if you want it to be meaningful. I use titles to verbalize something of what I want to communicate about the painting. It adds to the painting's narrative. I do not like thoughtless titles. Usually a word or phrase will come to me after the painting is completed while it's being studied for possible refinements. But sometimes, as in this case, a title comes during the painting process. Never have I started a, a painting with the title and then created the painting to fit it. And here are some of the steps taken to create this painting. Now I can understand if, you, if you're wondering why in the world this reference photo was selected and secondly, how and why I interpreted it the way I did. These are all reasonable questions, but they're difficult to answer. Here are some of my reasoned responses. The first is, I like vistas and veils of atmosphere that they reveal. And secondly, the photo clearly shows a foreground, a middle ground, and a background. Thirdly, the light is soft and gray, which I liked. Fourth, the basic design of the subject is good and yet provides enough information to aid in simplifying the design even more. And finally, the light colored field in the middle ground is used as an accent to add contrast to a basically gray scene and to highlight the focal point. Now small studies were, were developed to establish the composition and the mood and the value and, the, and possible palette choices. The palette choice is the same for both of these studies. Uh, in this first study, the surface was toned with a mixture of cobalt blue and burnt sienna. And in the second study, the surface was toned with yellow ochre. Hence, you see the warm and cool version of each one of these. A very simple palette of colors was chosen, 
and I've worked with color for so long that I pretty much know what is needed without trying out a lot of possibilities beforehand. You'll notice that in the uh, palette that I selected that I substituted a light red for a burnt sienna. I recently discovered this color while viewing the portrait painting with Cesar Santos DVD and it proved to be a good choice for this painting. So the, the palette I chose for this painting was composed of white of course and then cobalt blue, light red, yellow ochre, and ivory black. I have hoped you enjoyed this uh, commentary on this uh, painting in which I'm so honored to have received the Silver Medal Award at the 27th Annual Oil Painters of America National Show.